everyone, my name is Ryan Kim, and welcome to my review for... Shazam! This was directed by David F. Sandberg, and it stars Zachary Levi, John Dylan Glazer, and Mark Strong. It tells the story of a foster kid named Billy Batson, who is imbued with the powers of... Shazam! Meaning that he can turn into an adult at will. Oh, and the powers of the gods, too. That's a bonus. As I said in my Aquaman review, 2018 and 19 were recovery years for the DCEU, showing that, yeah, we've had a lot of turbulence in our past, but we're moving on now. And Aquaman was definitely a step in the right direction. And so when Shazam was out, was coming out, I was like, that's fascinating, but it could be just what this series needs. I do appreciate the fact that the DCEU are trying their hand with different characters. Characters that, like say 10 years ago, wouldn't have even been considered. But in terms of the larger DCEU, I prefer other movies other than Shazam. Don't get me wrong, this isn't saying that Shazam is a bad movie. Far from it. It's just a taste issue on my part. What I did like about the movie was Zachary Levi. He brings a chemistry to this movie that is just infectious. I legitimately laughed out loud when he walked in that convenience store and he was like, I would like to buy your finest beer. Little stuff like that just makes me laugh. What do you want me to say? But I also really enjoyed Jack Dylan Grazer as, uh, as, his, as his friend. His, he was given a lot of heady material and he could have easily fallen, failed, and died trying. But... He didn't, and he stayed right along there with Levi, and they were both the best parts of the movie. I also have to give credit to the VFX team, because the transitions between Billy Batson and Shazam were all fantastic. There wasn't like a, oh, there's the green screen. Like, every time the Shazam would happen, it was like, it was seamless. Making movies is incredibly difficult, no matter what position you're in in that business. So whenever something technical stands out that I love, I always try and give it a spotlight. Nothing really stands out to me in terms of problems when it comes to this movie, but I would prefer to watch Man of Steel over, over this movie. Because Man of Steel, at least to me, had a lot more under the hood. It tried its hand at different stuff, and it overall asked the tough questions. Did all of it work? No. But on the whole, I do appreciate the fact that Zack Snyder tried to tell a different story. Shazam felt like a lot of movies I've seen before. The kid who plays Billy Batson plays the typical foster kid you've seen in a lot of these movies, where he's bitter at the world and all he wants to do is to see his mom, dad, or both his parents. Mark Strong plays the generic power-hungry villain. I, I mean, of course he does. He's Mark Strong. That's pretty much all he's done throughout his entire career, minus Kingsman. And at the end, they uh, the foster kid learns that the power of family will triumph over all. You have seen this all before, I am sure. Again, I'm not trying to trash this movie, not at all. It's just, I've seen it before, just with a different coat of paint. However, to show that I'm not trying to be harsh here, I am going to give Shazam a good rating. Uh, overall, the movie's fine. It's technically good, and the acting is good. Nothing really offended me, it's just, I've seen it all before. But that concludes my DCEU series. All I have left to do is review Birds of Prey, and I'll be all caught up. Wow, it feels nice to be caught up, doesn't it? Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe and click the bell to allow notifications. My name is Ryan Kim, and I'll see you in the next one.